I am Danielle Alio on location in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, outside the Capitol building, where hundreds of students have come to protest the proposed budget cuts that are going to cut over 50% of public higher education funding. The proposed higher education cuts in Governor Tom Corbett's budget started political controversy among state legislators and sparked a rally at the Capitol building on March 28, 2011. The students present represented most of Pennsylvania's public higher ed colleges and universities. We know we will not let our students carry all of that burden. We are going to fight and we are going to keep fighting and we are going to be loud. Well, it's catastrophic. Actually, the cuts are 52.4 percent uh, over half, uh, which will mean dramatic increases in tuition. It'll mean cutbacks in the number of courses and the type of uh, areas of study that are available. It'll mean the closing of some whole campuses. In fact, there was one article where someone from Penn State said they may actually have to become a private school. I used to serve as a dean of a private school, Delaware Valley College in Doylestown. So I know students, and I know a lot of you have loans, and I know you cannot afford the kinds of cuts that are being proposed in this budget. It's wrong. It's just wrong. Funding for our community colleges in Pennsylvania is being cut as well. And uh, f with many students not able to uh, go to higher education in the state system of higher ed or the state affiliated system, community college now becomes a, uh, a viable option. There is something wrong with the system that dedicates more funding to the corrections institutes than our educational institutes. I mean that uh, uh, the dream of college education is going to be less accessible, less affordable, um, especially for those from uh, working class families. I think it's a real step in the wrong direction. I'm here for my education, for my family's legacy, for us, for all of us to get an education. I want to be clear about one thing. You do not cut the future. You invest in the future. So for me as a faculty member, right, I mean, I've got a choice to make, right? Do I sit back and hope that my job is safe, right? Or do I show up here with all the students, right, for the reason I got involved in this to begin with, right, was to be here to provide education, to be part of a state system that, gave, that gives access to the same students that grew up in, like, the neighborhood that I grew up in, right? So for me, this is personal. In Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, I'm Danielle Alio. Now back to the studio.